If you don't know by now, I'm talking about the saloon life, baby. Gamersaloon.com. Sign up now. Welcome. Welcome. King. A sneaker is a commodity. It should be dead simple to buy a dead stock pair. Welcome to StockX, an actual stock market for sneakers. Every pair of sneakers sold on StockX passes through our trading floor. Where dudes who look like James Harden make sure you never get scammed ever again. Now that's a legit check. The only thing more legit would be if dudes who look like Wale come in and do the voiceovers. Dubby rocking the Cardinals. Skimbo rocking them. Beautiful, beautiful Seahawks. We have not had any um, Cardinals, Cardinals matchups on stream. I'm curious to see if we're ever going to see one of those or perhaps uh, another dual team outside of Seattle. Um, you're definitely going to see a lot of Seattle this season, uh, mainly because they're a very, very good team. But we've talked about that enough. Let's give a big up to the sponsors, man. StockX.com. You guys are going to want to check those guys out. If you're interested in stews, shoes, shoes, check out StockX.com. As well as our other sponsor, Jerky XP. Both of those sites, man. If you need shoes, StockXP is the way to go. If you need some good very good beef jerky. Jerky XP. Check it out. They got a lot of flavors and varieties as well. And last, and y'all already know, if you're looking for some competitive Madden, competitive any game really, hop on Gamersaloon.com and uh, find out how you can be in Season 3 of this madness. The pros. See if you can compete and hold your own against these guys week in and week out. Seahawks, oh, has a nice read. Threw it a little bit late, and uh, Skimbo is unable to get the completion inbound. So right now, Dubby's on defense, Skimbo's on offense. Like I told you guys, Skimbo's probably going to be in gun bunch. Nine out of ten plays. He has just mastered this formation. And a beautiful read there on the right side of the field. Has a man wide open on the sidelines and off. Already one of the best offenses I've seen this year as he has just perfected how to run this gun bunch. If you need to learn how to run gun bunch, you need to check out this man Skimbo. Watch him play, study, just keep looking. The route combinations and the reads this man has out of this gun bunch is insane as he has a nice dot in the middle of the field for the touchdown. Gets the ball to about the 22. And right now, let's see if Dubby can respond. We know Skimbo is a crazy, crazy offensive player. But he has been known to give up points himself. It looks like W is also in the gun bunch. Takes a flag right there. So right there on that play, what you've seen happen was a glitch in the game where it doesn't allow you to hike the ball. So um, Skimbo just runs offsides, and uh, they move on to the next play. 
big ups to these guys. But uh, yeah, Madden has a really weird bug in it where sometimes you just can't hike the ball. And it's kind of a a bad move. It's a low blow move if you accept that penalty, if they get that delay game there. Um, another thing to note that is that you don't want to let the clock run. If they're trying to you know score quick, obviously if you let the clock run down to like one second, that's also kind of a... Uh, a mean, cheap move, if you will. So, big ups to these guys. Respect to both of them mutually. Um, knowing the deal on that situation and uh, just making sure it is handled as it should be. W with a beautiful pass to Floyd down the middle of the field. Big pickup right there. Carson Palmer starting the game off three for three. Let's see what's going on here. So in the chat, have you guys already all followed Gamer Saloon on Twitter? Let me know who's winning that t-shirt. Who plans on winning that t-shirt tonight? Who is going to come up with the t-shirt? And when you get that t-shirt, man, make sure you guys take a picture with it. Tweet us. Let us know how it fits. How it's looking. I know how it's going to look, but how does it fit on you? Is it is it is it a medium? You flexing your guns? As you get the large, you rocking in like a, a late 90s, early 2000s look? You know, how, how do you like wearing your t-shirts? Let me know. Uh-oh, we got a winner. We got a winner. Is he in here? Is he in here? Dubby goes into the end zone. It gets picked off. Sherman. Sherman with the interception off the tip. What a tough break for Dubby right there. Wow. 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 Did you guys just see that? That was insane. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was insane. Sane. The tipped pass, it looked like the wide receiver was open. It honestly wasn't the worst read, but sometimes when you drop a pass, especially in the end zone, there's going to be a lot of defenders in the area. And right there, just a very tough break for Dubby early on in this game. Skibbo back on offense, lobs one up. One-on-one, -on -one, takes his shot, does not get anything out of it. This dude, what a play. Wow. W is looking very good. W is looking absolutely good right now. Doing absolutely. Um, if you guys don't know, W primarily plays Mutt. So what I've been wondering is how is he going to respond with regular teams. So far, he's looking absolutely He's, he's not missing the beat. He's looking absolutely good. <laughs> you no, know, my mic, I don't know what the heck's going on with my mic. Sometimes it, it has its moments where it doesn't want to pick up anything. But here we go with the run up the middle. Johnson picks up almost nothing. Let me see what we got going here. Single back, big twins. This is not a formation you see very often. Um, if that is a formation, he does indeed run. Definitely not a popular formation. And uh, that's why it's great to see somebody like W out here. Because he's not, um, you know, he's not someone who just runs what everyone else runs. He's going to mix that stuff in, obviously. But um, he's definitely the type of guy that's, he's just going to hit you with stuff you're not used to seeing. 
And my goodness, Sherman with another one. Another one. Wow. Sherman with another tip pick. And now Skimbo has the ball back. Locked and loaded. First and 10. Shout out to everybody in here, man. This is getting absolutely crazy. Dudes is getting interceptions right, left, right, left, right, left. And a huge play there for Skimbo as he finds a man deep down field. Absolutely insane. Gun bunch on the left this time. He's probably going to stick with the bunch. He's going to try and kill as much clock as he can. Get the last score. Going into the half. Chucks one up. It should have been picked off. It was picked off, but it was picked off out of bounds. So no turnover on the play. A very fortunate break there for Skimbo as he makes a terrible read and a terrible decision in throwing that pass. Has to drag. You guys know the old Madden curse or the Madden rule. If you drop an interception, the next play... Your opponent's going to get a big play. That was insane, guys. <laughs> I mean, catching an interception out of, the ball, out of bounds is so frustrating. It's hard enough to get an interception, but the fact that he's out of bounds just just can really upset people and it makes you wonder is the animation built into the game would he have caught it if he was in bounds or did he catch it only because he was out of bounds very very frustrating very tough breaks here so far early for dubby he's had two tipped um incompletions go for interceptions he's gotten a very nice interception of his own and he's played some pretty solid defense. I mean, Skimbo's offense has not been slowed down by too many people. Skimbo has just been very effective and efficient. Each and every time he goes out there, he's just an offensive machine. Scoring drive after drive after drive. Even against the best defenses, he just finds a way to move the ball, get into the end zone, and get big plays and get, in, uh, get those points on the board. Skimbo, very, very exciting player to watch, man, because he runs the same plays over and over. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. But he just makes one or two adjustments, one or two different hot routes, you know, one different aggressive catch that he goes for instead of, you know, maybe doing it on the outside, maybe he does it up the middle. Or, you know, he, he, he just finds a way. Like, I don't know what that read was right there. That was crazy. He's running to the left, throws it to the right. I mean, logically, you're thinking that's a terrible read, but Skimbo finds a way to make that play. That was literally just crazy right there. Literally crazy. Um, <laughs> just running to the left, throws it across his body, and gets almost a first down on the right side of the field. So, uh, Skimbo, everything is going his way right now. He is getting a lot of things that he needs, and they are all falling his way. Everything advantage Seahawks right now. Dubby does get ball at half, so if he can get a stop here, at least hold him to three points, he will be A-OK. -okay. Third and very, very long here. He needs to get a touchdown, or he's going to find himself in fourth down situation. He elects to go for the underneath route, and he's going to take three. Uh, going to half with a 10-0 lead. But not only that, uh, he's going to get that ball. Um, he's going to be kicking the ball at half, but he's able to kill clock because he got the completion. If he would have had an incompletion there, that would have been absolutely horrible clock management. But because he elects to take that drag, he can kill the rest of this clock here and uh, pretty much give Dubby the ball back with no time left. Two possession lead going into the half. Unless something absolutely crazy happens here. There's a lot of questions about these players. 
uh, and mutton and salary cap, man, feel free to ask away. I have used a lot of these players. I haven't used some of them, particularly the golden ticket wide receivers and the boss wide receivers. Haven't used too many of those guys. Um, they are out of my mutt budget range. But I can give you some feedback and tell you what you're looking for uh, as far as that goes. So, Welcome to Gamersaloon.com. Challenge other gamers in the most popular skill-based video games for real cash prizes. Play head-to-head -head matches or in multiplayer tournaments on every major console, PC, and mobile device. Create an account, find your opponent, and go play. Report back and revel in your winnings. Millions of prizes have been awarded since 2006. Get in the action at GamerSaloon.com. So, second half starting up. Dubby's going to get the ball first. He's been playing a pretty darn good game of Madden. Um, it doesn't look like... He's rusty. You know, it doesn't look like he hasn't played regs before. He's just not getting good breaks right now. And uh, it's just not going his way. So he's got the bunch on the left side here. Looks like Dubby's running some bunch himself. Almost has the half back. Looks like Skimbo was lurking it, but from the playmaker, it looked like W was going to have a guy wide open uh, for a pretty big pickup right there. Skimbo sending that pressure. He is sending that pressure each and every play. W's got to pick it up. That left side heat is coming, and it is coming quick. Gun Bunch again on the left side. Looks like Dubby is a big fan of the Gun Bunch as well. So uh, we're going to see a lot of Gun Bunch today. As you guys know, Skimbo is going to run Gun Bunch almost every single play. Looks like Dubby enjoys using the formation. He has one-on-one, -on -one, had a guy underneath, did not elect to go to him. And now he finds himself in a 4th and 10 situation. A very, very big down right here. If he does not pick this up, most likely, it's going to be very difficult for him to come back and win this ball game, and it'll be looking very, very good for Skimbo here early on. Bunch on the left, solo wide receiver on the right. He's got Larry Fitzgerald. He has a beautiful dot, John Brown. A nice possession catch, and it ain't over till it's over, and it is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Dubby showing some fight. Let's see what he's got in him. Does he have that clutch factor, that clutch gene that so many of the, of the other pros in this league do have, and they have shown time and time again when their back is against the wall, when everything is going the other guy's way, they just find ways to keep fighting, keep playing until the momentum swings and the fumbles and the tip passes and the interceptions and the bad passes. All that stuff swaps and goes the other way. Motioning a man across the field here. He's maybe going to be looking for one on one. He's got Fitz one on one, does not go to it. Man, oh man, I'm very surprised he did not elect to go to Fitzgerald one-on-one -on -one there. It looked like he actually had a step on the defender, uh, on Sherman there on the right side of the field. There was a safety, but if he pass led that to the right, uh, he was going to get one-on-one. -on -one. He has one-on-one -on -one again, and that pressure gets there. Great defense. Bobby Wagner comes up with the interception, and that is pretty much going to wrap up this ball game. As Skimbo starting things off very strong with a 10-0 lead and ball. Looks like that is going to be just about ball game. But do not count W out yet, guys. I'm very curious to see if he can get things going. Maybe get a little momentum going his way and try and get back into this ball game.
coming out in that iPhone Pro. Goes with the fullback dive, gets hit in the backfield, does not pick up anything. Surprised he did not move Marshawn Lynch. Uh, at fullback, one thing if you have the Seahawks that you have available to you is obviously Beast Mode himself. He can play running back. He can play fullback as well on those fullback dives. You know, he's a guy that's not going to fumble the ball. He's got a really good carry. He's a very strong runner. And obviously, that's why he's Beast Mode. But uh, a lot of people will elect to do that instead of running a fullback dive with Mr. Coleman. Dubby just not getting too many breaks in this game. And Skimbo finds a man open in the end zone for the touchdown. Taking the lead. 17-0. About a minute and a half until we get into the fourth quarter. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, everybody in the chat, man. Let me know, man, is Skimbo, does he have the best offense that you've seen here? Um, we've seen him on stream a few times in season one. Does he have the best offense, or do you feel someone else holds that title? This guy's offense, to me, is one of the best. He is just very effective at what he does. He doesn't overcomplicate it. He doesn't run too many plays. He keeps it simple, but he has crazy reads. And very good adjustments as well. And again, the winner of the t-shirt contest. Blood Money, are you around? Seas Nation, are you around? Are either of you guys around? I'm trying to figure out who wins this shirt. He had a dot wide open down the middle of the field. He just... Missed the read. He had the streak up the seam wide open. That could have been a touchdown, but he just misses the read. That pressure has been getting there constantly. It is just costing him to make quick decisions, which have led to a few mistakes. What is going on, Mr. Wild? How's it going? V-Tech in the house. Shout out to V-Tech guys. You guys don't know. Uh, he is one of the players on one of our teams here. Uh, he's got a very good squad, actually. I am excited to see how they do this season. They made the playoffs, had that fourth spot last season. Um, went down, fell a little bit short um, to the runner-ups. Uh, in the playoffs there. But Dubby gets a nice dot right there for a touchdown going down the middle of the field. Really big play right there. Big play for Dubby. 23 seconds left in the third quarter. This game is not over. If he can get a quick stop and a score and another stop and a score, he could win this ball game. It's a long shot. Skimbo's got a really good offense. But all he needs is a football a big mistake by Skimbo, a tipped pass, really anything. He needs it, and he needs it now if he is going to win this ball game. Got the bunch there on the right side. Goes with the halfback inside, and he's just going to run the ball and kill as much clock as possible. So, again, a big ups to our sponsors, StockX.com, JerkyXP.com, GamerSaloon.com. If you guys need shoes, check out StockX. If you need jerky, check out JerkyXP. And if you need some competitive gaming, check out GamerSaloon.com. They are the guys bringing this all together for us. They've got... So much stuff involved in this season, too. I can't even cover it all this first week. That's how much stuff there is. Just absolutely insane. 
The winner of last season is TBE. Beast Mode, he gone, baby. He goes. A little bit of a celebration as he is able to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Skimbo. And that's pretty much going to be GG right there. A huge play for Skimbo. And Beast Mode showing exactly why and how he got that nickname. Yes, Kiv. Absolutely yes. This beef jerky is awesome, man. I don't know about you, but I eat while I play Madden. You got to. Got to. So TBE was our winners last season. Serious Mo, Hollywood, and certainly not last or least. Oh, my goodness. I almost fell. <laughs> oh man, almost fell right there. But Spot Me Please was their last player. Seven twenty-four. Has a man open? Dovey just continues to catch bad breaks. Has a man wide open again to the flat. And he's taking yards. He's getting positive. However, he's not getting what he needs. He needs big plays, and he needs them now. He needs one play touchdowns. He needs 50-yard gains. He needs, you know, he needs a lot of yards, and he needs them quick. He's not getting that right now. He's just not getting what he needs. No doubt, no doubt. We'll get that on the stream here. And I will make sure that we get the uh, the audio for that as well. Where we got going right there? Where we got going? An injury timeout. Running the four verticals, has a few buys going across the middle there, but he's getting locked up. Let me see what we got cooking here. Gun bunch yet again, has that corner out wide open, but the pressure is just getting there way too quick. Fourth and seven, and this is pretty much for the ball game. Gets picked off a beautiful user lurk there from Skimbo. And that right there, my friends, is going to pretty much wrap up this ball game. Let's go ahead and show you all a quick little promo video from one of our sponsors here. As this game is pretty much wrapped up, Skimbo just going to do his best to kill the remainder of the clock just wanted to show y'all man this is stockx.com you guys make sure you check them out for your sneakers all the shoes everything really it's just got everything that you guys are going to need on there just shoe prices rarity i mean literally the sky's the limit if you guys are into shoes you're going to want to check out stockx.com immediately like right now, no games being played. Just show y'all that real quick, man. StockX, we'll get the audio on there next time. But I just wanted to quick show y'all that before y'all head up out of here. Because we got to show them some love. They are a huge contributor into putting all this together. Huge, man. Huge. A big reason that this is all being put together. 24 7. 
Dubby gets the ball back. Let's see if he can get a quick score here. Maybe an onside quick. A quick. Onside quick. Need a quick onside kick, man. And uh, see if he can get in this end zone, get something glitchy, and uh, maybe make a comeback of the year. Maybe. Comeback of the year. See what he's got going. Goes into the end zone. Has a man wide open. Fitzgerald comes down with a touchdown. Gets this to a 10-point ball game. Can he get the onside kick? He absolutely needs it. Um, he needs two onside kicks, actually, because uh, he has no timeouts left. Skinwell would just be able to kill the remainder of the clock. I'm not sure why he's kicking the ball deep here. He does need to onside kick this. I'm not sure um, why he went with this decision. Um, but that's uh, going to wrap up this ball game. That's that's pretty much going to do it, guys. I'm not, uh, not sure I agree with that decision. But that's the decision he went with. So that's going to wrap up this ball game. He's going to be able to kill the rest of the clock there. And then I also want to show you guys a quick little, quick little clip here as they kill the remainder of that clock. Just want to show y'all what we got going on here. Gamer Saloon, man. If you guys have not already competed on Gamersaloon.com, you need to do that. Because um, this is where you can win money, play the best of the best all the time. It's going down. Gamersaloon.com. Like I said, man, if you guys play FIFA, you play Madden, you play shooters, don't matter what console you're on, you can be a PC gamer, does not matter, man. They even got phone games you can play for money. I mean, you can play freaking checkers or something on your phone. Like, there's literally whatever game you think you're the best at, go ahead and make it happen. You know, head over to Gamersaloon.com, check it out, and start winning some cash today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those two videos as my main man Skimbo is going to be able to kill the rest of the clock here. Those crazy interceptions in the first half. Sherman had two tipped interceptions to get things started off, man. It was just insane. Uh, something that's going to be very difficult to overcome um, for any player, but especially against a good player like Skimbo, it's going to be tough to uh, try and mount a comeback against a good player like himself.